have Lisa Berg by Legome. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If not, I've been saying your name the wrong way for a long time. Oh, let me turn this off. Probably shouldn't. But anyways, yeah, Lisa Berg by oh, Legome. And uh it's on a full scale, yeah, full scale map. Not even half the size of that map. The overhead, I, I really do like the overhead of this. The, it, it just, like, it, it looks cool from this view. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. This is, I'm assuming this is the main entrance right here. I've never really seen a layout of the park, and this is where everyone kind of gravitated to. That's where G-Force gravitated to. That's where he started his review and everything. The only real complaint I have about this is the hotel. Like, at this view, you can't see the entrance very well except for this part right here. And I think for... Like this is the only view that you can see the entrance completely uh, you can see it here but that's not where you're supposed to see it this I think I think some of this outside stuff is just a bit too distracting from I could get what you're going for and it's fine for what it is it's just a little bit distracting in my opinion from the rest of the park but that's that's a little nitpicky I think um, but yeah, that's the front entrance, and then if we, this is the main street, I really, this was like your, the last, uh, screenshot that you posted, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if there's anything else after that, but this was the last screenshot that was posted of this park, and I absolutely love this building right here, I think it looks amazing. Um, and you can also tell that this park is kind of divided into two sections, really. The, <laughs> the, uh, hillside, and then, like, the actual park. Like, there's not much on the hillside compared to the, re like, this part of the park right here. Everything kind of gravitates around this area. And then, yeah. I didn't really like, I mean, there's nothing you could really do about the texture here, but I didn't like this texture um, on the elevator. I like the elevator, though. That looks pretty cool, the dat that was used for that. Um, yeah, we went through this building. Uh... Now, I haven't actually been to this park, probably won't, <laughs> to be honest. If I ever do, it'll be a, an amazing experience to go here, but I probably won't for a while. Um, I think there's a lot of peach in this area here, which is probably exactly how it looks. It just, it's kind of, it's not that bad actually, now that I think about it, it doesn't look that bad. I think uh, these walls could have, there, there should have been more done to it. Uh, um... The old one is clearly better. Yeah, we were talking about that. Me and a couple other people <laughs> brought it up, and <laughs> it was pretty funny. The only thing that I could even maybe say is better is the layout. And now that I look at this layout again, the only bad thing about the layout of ba this boulder is the vertical, this, this vertical lift. And if it wasn't there and it was a bit 
shorter because the actual coaster isn't that tall at all. It's not this giant thing. I think I think one thing that you didn't do well as a whole is the scale of a couple of the coasters. Like Helix is fine. Um, uh, Lisa Bergbonen. Lisa Bergbonen. It. I think. Uh, could have been shortened on this back half here and it would have been better um, but like uh, if you look at this uh, log flume that is extremely long I mean it, it might be as long as it is I'm not sure like I said I've never been to the park and I've never seen this log flume in action like in video or anything uh, but it just it feels extremely long and dragged out um, that's not something I would take away from the score though just because it's a recreation it's not your own uh, park like if it was your own park I might I, I would have uh, knocked points off of it not that I gave points or anything because you know I'm not on the panel anyways that doesn't matter but yeah um, another huge thing I had a problem with was the layout of Kinoan Kanonan 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 yeah Kanonan <laughs> I had a huge problem with the layout here I think it would have been better if you used uh, vertical uh, pieces here and then just did like like use this section of or this type of track and it's you know use the default type of thing here it the only problem is it wouldn't it would be way too it wouldn't be way too tall I think it would be the right height it would just be taller than this and st I think that would have looked a lot better than this would have just because that's supposed to be a compact coaster if you I mean of course you've seen it you made the park this is extremely spread out compared to the coaster the actual coaster um I already went over that and really that's all I really have to complain about there's some there's some problems with congestion like this area right here you can't really you can't really see anything except the tops of the buildings which may be the, the the same way in real life that that might be how it's supposed to be but it, it just needs a little breathing room I think maybe one or two extra tiles of path would have helped with that oh I I do have to comment on this I love this cutaway here this cutaway is really cool I think it it's just cool <laughs> Um, there's a lot of color in this, which is fine. I think, uh, being creative with colors is needed in RCT2. I'm not very creative with colors, so, I, I like, I've just started to dabble with other colors, and most of my stuff is either has brown in it somewhere, or is completely brown, or gray, or a soft color like this green because I just can't figure out how to make something look good like this right here this uh, station for Lisa Burke Bonin which is pretty pretty spectacular I think um, I saw the evolution of this station for uh, Helix which I thought was pretty cool because it went from really bad to sort of bad to it's getting there to good to pretty much spot on. Um, do they really have I guess three drop towers or drop towers slash SNS power towers whatever you want to call them? That's that's a pretty big excess of towers. 
that's just you know <laughs> that's the park not this park but the actual park's fault I like the um, Ferris wheel I mean I'm pretty sure we've seen it before uh, windmill cool is cool I think the foliage some of the foliage could have been worked on a little bit more um, like there's a lot of these rocks the 1k ruins like here it works here it works uh, but one example there was one extremely out of place rock that I saw once um, like uh, where was it was it on the other side I think it was on the other side oh like this one right here first of all this just it looks a little weird just because it doesn't blend well with the crease in the uh, landscaping but second of all like um there's just some parts that are like this where it's just the rock by itself and nothing around it to really uh what's the word i don't know the word i'm not good with words it's just too bare i think for a rock like mo like this right here you have the rocks the 1k ruins and then you also have the grass the trees the flowers to really complement complement it and when you have just the rocks or just the grass I think it's a little bit too abstract and it detracts from what's more important which is the coaster and or the coasters the attractions the pathways the park flow and everything like that which I mean foliage is definitely important but if it it should be more of a background thing in my opinion not the unless you know you're <laughs> whoa what the I've never even seen this before what that's the first time I saw that happen to be honest I, I've never seen that that was weird <laughs> that was pretty cool though anyways uh, unless it's like you know the Skylands National Park or whatever foliage shouldn't be it should be more it should blend in with everything is what I'm trying to say and when it catches your eye like that like it it shouldn't catch your eye too much like it should look good I think I think I'm getting across what I'm trying to say if not oh well um Hmm. I like this little area. I thought it was pretty cool. Thought it was uh, nice. A lot of the custom flat rides are pretty cool too. Like I like this rainbow or the I don't know what it's actually called. I forget. Uh, I thought this was really cool like I said I don't know the actual technical names of the flat rides or the actual names to be honest but they're pre the custom ones are pretty cool in this I already said the ferris wheel which is one of them this <laughs> this boat Leela lots I guess that's what it's called uh, but it's pretty cool there's a lot of nice, tiny uh, stuff in this park. Tiny details that just really uh, make it good. And about the whole controversy with whether or not it should be a spotlight, I don't think it should be a spotlight. But I'm okay that it is. I don't think it should be a spotlight just because it's so messy. Because it is a messy park, no doubt. Like, there's just so much going on at once that, and that's what makes it messy. However, that's probably what the park is in real life, and that's definitely been said before. So I'm not gonna say it anymore after this. But I just, I don't think it's a spotlight.
Do they really have two of those? The Hus Frisbees? I guess this one's like a bigger version and then this one is a smaller kitty version or whatever. Um, is there anything else? Like, uh, let's see. Let's watch some of the layouts, I guess. I'm wondering if any of these other greens. I think, I think the green for this is pretty, like, like it's as close as you can get. I think so. If anyone says that they don't like the green of Helix, then they're probably wrong. Although I don't know, this soft green doesn't. I'm pretty sure. Let me see. I think the soft green would have worked well. I don't know if there's any reason you didn't go with it or if you just didn't see it before but the soft green would have worked well instead of this bright bright green it would have if you used that soft green it would have uh, blended in a lot more with the surroundings and trees and everything which I guess would have it wouldn't have been a great thing Um, I think I think it's a solid layout. I think it's a great layout. Um, the only thing that I see that I would change is probably this little bit right here. I would pro I, I mean you can't change it obviously, but I, I would have liked to see it bank or maybe even just an S turn or just a uh, angled turn here and then go down and out, which is probably impossible. Um, you probably could have. Does it go back through the same pretzel loop? I don't know if it does or not. Um. Oh yeah, another cool little flat ride. I think I think you could have done a little better with it, but it's still it's good for what it is. The. Uh, Scream and swing, S and S swings right there. Um, some of these, like some of these buildings, are really cool. Like the uh, outside buildings, I just think, really, it's more of a like like these are fine. Don't get me wrong; these look really good and everything. It, the on, like these are the only buildings that I have a problem with on the outside just because it detracts from the rest of the park or not the rest of the park but the entrance of the park which the entrance is your opening statement it should be prominent which right here it is but like I said right there it isn't uh, but everything else on the outside looks great like these buildings these apartment buildings I'm guessing they all look really cool, I think. Um. <sighs> I've never seen a actu an actual, um, I mean, it's not a rotating log flume station, but it's as close as you're gonna get which I think is pretty cool. I've never seen one of those in real life. So I, I like that. <laughs> it's also a water ride within a water ride. Hmm. Swede's lazy or something. <laughs> there's there's two elevators or escalators in this park. Did I say elevators the first time? I meant escalators. <laughs> uh, don't worry. You're probably a lot better off than we Americans are. <laughs> Anyways. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can really comment on it. I think what did I give it? Give the park? I think I gave it an 
eighty or seventy five or something like that. I will admit I'm I'm a I'm more I wouldn't say I'm a fair critic of parks score wise. Like when I'm commenting like this, then yeah, sure, I'm f I'm definitely fair, but I give some a little bit lower than average scores. This might be an exception. I don't know. Yeah, see, eighty-five, and then I gave it an eighty. What's the regular ninety? The highest was a ninety by. Coco, Liam, and Lewis, and Solake. Okay. Yeah. Gee whiz was the lowest. The 75. I think it, uh, I think uh, 85 is a good score for it, if it's spotlight. I think uh, since, you know, 80 is my score, I'm definitely going to stick with it and say that's the best score, but stream seems to be stuck don't worry it's not it's not stuck uh, at least not on my end but yeah that that pretty much covers it the oh another complaint not only is I, I think uh, this too long but too straight as well like you have a probably this is probably 20 at most 20 tiles of just straight track and it just it's kind of you know you, you probably understand what I'm trying to say there other than that this is a great park just work on your scale of some rides work on uh, work on blending your landscaping in a little bit more and that the landscaping is a little like extremely nitpicky because most of it is amazing like right here and uh, yeah like everywhere other than the one or couple spots that I mentioned with like the rocks that are just kind of out there um, but yeah, that is Lisa Burke. Ooh, one more thing. One more thing, last thing. I thought this was pretty cool. The station here <laughs> for the, uh, rapids. Uh, I mean, it's, it's nothing extremely special. It just looks cool, and I think it's awesome. But yeah, that's Lisa Burke, and thanks for watching.